If you're ever wondering about any of the sexy clothes that I'm wearing, uh, bets are that they're from Jack Wills. They have a new summer collection coming out and I'm about to go on a little summer trip with them, show you all the collection. I'm going to come back here and tell you all about the madness that has happened on the trip. So make sure you don't miss out. And thank you again for Jack Wills for sponsoring the podcast. Guys, if you're watching this, make sure you subscribe. If you want to watch the whole thing, you can watch it on YouTube, Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Welcome back to another episode of Saving Grace. And this episode is not to be missed because the tea is about to be spilled. We've only got L Brooks on the bloody pods. That was really dramatic. I know it. Well, I feel like we need some dramatic music in the beginning of it as well. Maybe some like boxing gloves coming through the screen. Someone play Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. Alexa, (laughs) volume seven. Um, So we're going to be discussing all the tea. For people that don't know you, give them a little overview. Oh my God, you know, I hate it when everyone oh, says that. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know, Two truths, like, a lie. Oh my God, I'm so humble. How do I G myself <laughs> up? So I've got 1.7 <laughs> million followers on TikTok. <laughs> Only a few, yeah. That's fine. Um, yeah, I'm either love or hated. Marmite. Basically. Yeah. And um, yeah, I don't really know what's much to me other than I'm great in bed. And that's actually factual. So I'm very most factual. Most people say that, but you can actually genuinely say that with yeah, your chest. Yeah, I call myself the goat throat. <gasps> it, <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice. I'm like the Gagatron. No, let's <laughs> take <laughs> Right. So we're gonna get straight into it. Yeah. You're having a fight. I am. And not just a little scrap, you're having a proper fight with gloves. Can you give us the backstory? So this is how I found out about it, right? I was on Twitter one day. Oh no. I was having a scroll. Oh dear. All I see is a fight in a nightclub. I'm thinking, what's this about? It's you. Do you think I won? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yes, And that's not back. because you're on this podcast. I do actually, <laughs> <laughs> I do think you did well. So why did that happen? Um, so in terms of why we don't get along or how the fight started. Let's do both. Okay, you've got your night like, picking my brains here. That's I feel I like it's been be. going on for months and months. I think you know? it has as well. But that's why, I mean, I don't know how it even started. Yeah, so I think back and forth, the beginning was just like harmless, like rivalry banter on Twitter because we're very similar in the sense that we're what? Both blondes. Well, she does like football stuff, doesn't she? Yeah. Or am I right? Right, okay. Yeah. So like yeah. she basically has a very, very similar brand to me. Mm-hmm. Almost carbon copy, if you know what I mean. Copy but then, past, you yeah. know, she came off after me, like two years after me. Um, So there was just like harmless banter on Twitter. And then it kind of, it wasn't... You know, I never liked her. I never really disliked her, but it was just kind of like harmless banter in that sense. And then like, do you know when some things happen so fast and like things just like either like fume into something big and like fuse something really quickly? Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Um, So we were in the nightclub. We had that scrap and everything like that. But to be honest- Did she come over to you or something and say something or did you just scrap? That one- was uh, do you know maybe when I were really drunk we were really yeah. drunk yeah um, okay. but she barged into me actually and then I threw my drink on her and then she just like scratched me but I don't think what a it, waste of a cranberry juice oh my god did you like that I one I did yeah I gave she, it a like that was worry. really salty yeah. wasn't it no. I think I won that <laughs> I was like oh my god I'm so funny <laughs> <laughs> no rightly so rightly so yeah so um yeah, and then after that, we basically just split up. It was literally just barging, and then I threw out my drink, but in the video, you can't see that. And then we kind of dispersed really quickly because she, like, pushed me down this, like, ramp in Astoria. Not a ramp. Um, yeah, a oh. ramp. <laughs> oh Actually, I was missing my Aggies, but it was literally just a ramp, yeah. Um, and then that, that was the end of that one. I think, um, you know, there's always been kind of uh, that rivalry from a sense from what happened that night. But, and then more back and forth going. And I think that, you know, we had already, I had already had a boxing opportunity come to me. Had you? What, before this? Um, No, because they had seen the ongoing right, beef. Okay. So like it had been presented and it was already presented to me before she doxed me. So the fight was going to happen before she did that. And I... I can't even say that the damage she has done from that. So I know that people can say, you know, like maybe things were manipulated before that we went um, previously to that um, so we could get this fight. But um, yeah, that was, it was really hard. And I think that there are so many reasons why you specifically shouldn't date a a sex worker. Oh my God. (laughs) 
There are so many reasons you shouldn't date, date a sex worker. <laughs> there are so many reasons you shouldn't dox a sex worker. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the, it's such a personal thing. And I think the maddest thing is that that live, it just seems so scripted to me. And I really mean that. Like, it is was this like, the one that she did. Is this where she together. released your address and, and name? name. Yeah, yeah, that is a bit fucked up. Yeah, so that's doxing. And you, you don't do that to sex workers because we have... Um, you got some creeps probably following exactly. you. Exactly. Yeah. Do you know, like, hand on heart, how many people want to, like, they say they're going to kill me and rape me, like, every what? day. Oh, really? Proper, yeah. So, like, you have they, these layers and these levels are, like, protecting your own identity. Yeah. And for another sex worker to do that is just crazy to me. And I think that when you have such a big platform comes such big responsibility and you need to learn that. It's not the same as you're always going to get people that know your real name commenting on your TikTok and stuff, which you can delete, but that's completely different to To a live as well. A live that people are screen recording. And it's not only did she do the live, she made TikToks afterwards. So she full on showed her intentions that night and she didn't need to do that because the boxing match was already a fan. Do you know what's mad? I haven't seen any of her, I've only seen your stuff on my For You page. Like your, um, the walk up one where you were threatening her. Loved that. Yeah, Yeah, I'm not joking. I was fuming. I bet you were. I was livid. Steam. I know. And I think, I don't want to sound big headed or anything like that. But I think the worst thing that girl could have done was really piss me off. Yeah. Because now I don't like, um, for me, like we were going to fight regardless. So if I don't knock her the fuck out and really show what I'm capable of, then this would have all been nothing. I got docs for nothing, right? And I feel like, because a lot of people thought it was all set up. They were just like, oh, they're actually friends and it's just mm. for like the money or whatever. But it does actually sound like you guys yeah. don't actually get on genuinely. I'm, I'm, I'm here like almost like crying because if you think, yeah. I've had my mum ringing me up, like crying her eyes out because my little brothers found out what I do. Like my... Uh, did, oh yeah, so did your, did they not know? My mum did, mm. but... Like my brothers didn't, um, my stepdad's colleagues didn't, and it affects colleagues. Your yeah. yeah, it affects. It doesn't just affect you having a like a work name. It protects your family. It protects yeah. your identity. And so I know people have opinions on it, don't they? Hundred percent. And I know so many people in the sex industry anyway that like have been like people send their work, their mm-hmm. like pornographic work to their family and everything like that. Oh. So there's so many reasons why you have these, you know, these fake names. Like, do you actually think Lady Gaga is called Lady Gaga? Like, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> you <laughs> know, like Tom Cruise isn't called Tom Cruise. Like every porn star in the world, Lana Rhodes isn't called Lana Rhodes. Yeah. Like, you know, when she said it, she was like, she's lying to her fans. Like, who am I lying to? But it's such a dangerous, because you do, if your job like attracts the most creepiest men it's not like you're in a post office where there might be like an odd one sent by in a stamp like you have like the creeps probably obsessed of you yeah but not even obsessed with me like people hate us like they absolutely hate seeing women like benefit um monetarily from their own body which is crazy yeah of course like how dare like give it to me for free but as soon as you're making profit from it like and it's jealousy you get like men and women like a lot of women hate you because you're like pretty and you're like got this amazing body and their boyfriends are watching you so you're hated with both and it's like if i wanted your boyfriend honey i'd have him sell them like (laughs) i'm scared now uh but yeah you're absolutely right yeah (laughs) Yeah. no but honestly it's just like you know we're just so hated at the same time and i think i get it because you know i think that before i was in the sex industry i think like i remember watching stripping documentaries on like channel four (laughs) you know know the ones and like dogging and i'm like (gasps) oh my god who does that who would do that what minxes show their bodies <laughs> whilst I was doing my Lord degree on my like, high Whoa. horse <laughs> and now I'm just like yeah girl get them baps out <laughs> as you should that is mad I think a lot of it's jealousy though I was gonna say what do people do you get a lot of people from your school now like obviously back in the day either because you do only fans yeah. do they subscribe to you or are they messaging you about it how does it sort of um, I found out a couple of times, like, people I know, like, subscribe to me because, like, Stop they it. either change their username from, like, you123456 to, like, their name <laughs> and their profile picture. And you're like, oh, that's sus. That's so weird. I know. And they just get so weird about it. And then, like, I did OnlyFans a long time ago. And, like, I started three years ago and it's not the same as it was. Like, the people in my, oh, my God, I don't want to sound like I'm, like old my era or like my <laughs> yeah, I get you. growing like we we kind of um we did all the hard work like only mm-hmm. fans didn't build this all the sex workers did yeah like, we put in the legwork we sell our own product at the end mm-hmm. of the day like they no one does it for us so um back then it was a lot harder because we really had to put the graft in yeah well that's like when bella was it bella thorne 
uh, did this whole thing, attracted loads yeah. of people to OnlyFans and everyone was livid. Yeah. Were you on that? Like, what was yeah. your opinion on that? So from what I can remember, so I was on it and basically you could have been paid more than it was in a day and they restricted it because of chargebacks, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So That's <clears throat> fucked as well. Yeah, but I think at the time everyone was livid, but when you actually, you know, sit back and reflect upon the sex industry and about, I think, how good that these celebrities and these mainstream influencers have made the platform that mm. is a household name now. Like, Oh, everyone only, knows about OnlyFans. Everyone knows OnlyFans. Yeah. I feel like back when I started, oh my God, I was the absolute slag of the town. Really? I got so much stick. I got, you know, like people would really, I mean, vicious to me, like really nasty What, to like me. online or to your face? To my face in the pub. Like what? people I oh, went to school with. in the pub, like, yeah. nasty. And you know, like girls, like group chat after group chat after group chat, like all I get getting was like, oh, I've seen your stuff being sent in here today. And I'm like, oh, oh. like and my friends are telling me because they're in the that? same group chat. Like, because can you screenshot from OnlyFans? Yeah, you can. Really? Yeah. I'm like telling everyone well, my if secret. If Netflix <laughs> can't do it, do you know what I mean? They need to up their fucking game. That's mad. I know, but I think, right, because um, OnlyFans is only a website, right? They don't have an app that they can't implement this technology. Why do they not have an app? Okay, because right, Because it's makes in sense. the sex industry and you can't have that on the Apple store. I never knew that. I know, methods of madness, right? No, that actually is. I guess it kind of makes sense, but what the fuck? So yeah, it's just on Safari, so I don't think that has any you know Shit. software built in it to allow it so what did your where, so when did you start any fans then um i started only fans uh probably like this time three years ago but oh it's quite a long time ago yeah i'm like at only fans oap <laughs> as you are you <laughs> built the app i built it oh my god so do you think because i hear a lot of people at really mixed reviews some people are like <clears throat> OnlyFans is great for women it's like a platform when they can do what they want but then a lot of people are like no it's still like man man controlled is that the word like men because they're still asking for what they do you know what I'm saying what I'm trying to say yeah so they're exploiting women that's what yeah that's, yeah. that's the word I was looking for um I think it's so powerful that women on normal like days of life and I think the most wonderful thing you know essentially about sex industry as well is that you can support a family just from having a phone at home and yeah. it gives you the freedom it gives you the time you like you can base your whole life around the hours you want to work and I know there's so many jobs in order to do that but the money and the potential that OnlyFans has and other sex work um like jobs is mm -hmm. it opens so many doors and I think it benefits people especially if you're disabled or anything like that it it, it is essentially um the only option some people yeah. have as well so especially during corona I feel like that opened up so because people were at home all the time they were yeah. like fuck it why not and then that's I remember during Corona was the time that I heard OnlyFans Boomed. blowing up. Like yeah. everyone was on OnlyFans. Everyone was spending their like, what is it called? When the, oh, oh, their, um, their, like, their money. What is that called? What is that? Like not Corona pay. Like, not Corona pay. What is it called? Oh, no, no, it's the... not. Furlough, furlough money yeah they're paying their furlough <laughs> you knew what I'm like, oh, Brooks. <laughs> yeah Sarah's so like spending their furlough money on my baps book <laughs> thank <laughs> the you the best Alex. way to spend it thank, thank you Boris guys so how did you right so your mum's fine with it yeah how so did you tell her me for a bit <laughs> shut up yeah. do what filming oh, I don't want to say because it gives in away all my trade secrets okay that's fine no worries <laughs> but <laughs> I guess I'll say that <laughs> you're like fucking slack so yeah. how did you did you just be like by the way I'm doing this. Or... Oh, what, how I told my mum? Yeah, like, how did you even have that conversation? Oh, my God, this one's horrifying. Um, So, I just, like, blanked out, tried to ignore her for a quite a long time. And I was, uh, like, uni right. doing a law degree and, like... <clears throat> and you went to time... uni? Yeah. They'd never guess because they never think you'd be smart. I know. Oh, my God. Congrats. I knew the word exploitative God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. No, but yeah, I was doing a law degree in um, the University of Southampton. It's wow. like a Russell Group uni. <laughs> like, yeah, and I was like, oh my God, I make more money on OnlyFans. Like, I'm a bit... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. So you dropped out. Yeah, so I dropped mm -hmm. out. And this, um, yeah, I dropped out in the September. And this is like in the November. And we're sat at the table with my whole family. And no. I mean, my whole family, my sister, my stepdad, um, thank God, well, not my brothers, but um, I guess they're younger. <laughs> um, but my granddad, who's like 86. God, not the granddad. And Jesus my nan, Christ. He's like, you know, like 66. And um, my nan goes to me like, are you still at uni? I cracked like a fucking egg. No. I, you know, I was like, I sell news on the internet. No. <laughs> oh my God. 
I, that was my. They both dropped work. dead. Yeah, and no, fuck my, that. Literally, like people were just staring at me. And my nan, because I'm quite a joker, like I like to like pull people, um, pull out their strings. You're joking. I'm like, I swear to God, nan. There's a lot of times I'm pulling your leg, but now is not the time. <laughs> you're making serious? it worse. <laughs> no way. She's like, you're joking. I'm like, no. And then my granddad's going, oh, is that where they live stream on the internet? Like, of course he knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something thinking, like that. You dirty this? dog. Yeah. <laughs> He's like 86. <laughs> but on it, he was the most accepting. He's so brilliant. Really? But I think, well, yeah, I think everyone else in my family. And my, my mum was just kind of like making a coffee. Uh, yeah. So did they, did they maybe sit you down and was like, do, do you want to do that? Or were they just completely like, whatever, you can do what you want? No, I've always been um, like really independent. So I think that they never even had the discussion that, you know, oh, I'll stay at uni, you can make yeah. more money or, you know, it's good for your future or anything like that. I think that they trusted me with my decision and they've had four. I'm not saying they, well, they sit clearly there, have go, the right decision go down the pub you. and be like, yes, my daughter does <laughs> only fans. I want to see my only <laughs> fans daughter. Look yeah. at her, look at her. <laughs> they don't do that, granted, but they are very, very supportive. That's, you were so lucky with your parents. If I did that, my parents would, I think I'd be dead. I think my parents would literally beat me up. I, and do you know what? I think this is why it kind of goes down to like why girls hate you as well because mm -hmm. it's so stigmatized. If your parents don't want you to do it, then why should you accept people doing it? Do you know I what know. I mean? If it's looked down upon. It's just like a, a, a like a community thing, I guess, or like, yeah. like a general consensus. You just do what you want. I know. That doesn't matter if you're making money off it. Who cares? Honestly, my mum would be fine with me being a drug dealer as well. I think she's so like. That's a mood. Listen, you've you got go. to give people what they want. <laughs> It's been a tough time. We've Provided been in lockdown. <laughs> Give the men the crack and go. Do you know what I mean? It's fine. So do you just, do you still do any fans now? Yeah. Do you do porn as well or not? Um. So um, this is, I, I've never technically done porn um, in a sense that I've never done anything professional. Right. No. So no sets. Yeah, so oh. I've only done ever amateur. So like I will message a creator or <clears throat> they'll message me and be like, I want to fuck. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, your dick looks big. <laughs> um, that kind of thing, and then yeah. that's how we like meet up through that. But I've never been paid to do anything, right? Okay, so Only it's all just for your subscription. So would it be yeah. on your page that you do it on, or like it's like shared <clears throat> video type shit? Yeah. So normally it's um, content share. So you'll sell it, and I'll sell it, and we right, both okay. own the rights. Because say you do a scene for Fake Taxi, right? You have of to course. lick an old man's bum. You've done bummer. Fake Taxi. No, have I? Fuck. Fuck. You've got to lick an old guy's bum for five hundred quid, fine. and you don't keep that video. They sell that for years. Oh really? When you're all old, but you you don't it's get royalties. Five hundred quid. I know. See. Yeah, for an old man's bum, I'm looking free free figures. <laughs> free. <laughs> Maybe I would do it five hundred <laughs> then. I meant six figures. <laughs> I'd have to be paid a lot more for that. Oh, 100%. And I have no morals, so. <laughs> Me neither, it's fine. That's mad. So I was going to say, is it awkward when you first, like, see them? Or is it more like, hello, do you want to, do you get straight to it? Like, how does it work? I don't know. Did you know what? Sometimes it's really, like, awkward and funny because, you can, like, say you're, like, a, like a normal girl that just does any fans, you're not a porn star, right? Yeah. So you're thinking, oh, right, I really want to do some, like, lesbian porn. <laughs> yeah. And, like, you meet up with them and they're, very clearly not lesbian. Oh, really? <laughs> you know, they're like, they're going at you and you're like, God, you're testing my, my acting, acting skills here. Skills, Jesus yeah. Christ, you're thinking, do you, you, you scared of it? Yeah. <laughs> Go do in. You, do you actually, Go I'm just saying like, oh, I feel sorry for you. Because <laughs> oh people can tell. I know. And I feel like, God, my work is awful. But I think that, oh my God, do you know I had to design a vagina? Shut up. I, yeah, Did I hate you? It. Yeah. Oh, I don't have my bag with me, but I actually have my labia in a jar. Got to go. <laughs> Got to go. Cut the cameras quick. <laughs> What do you mean? I don't have it. How right. did you like, did you ask for that or did they go, do you want it? No, I did ask for it because I thought you I could sell it. Out. But then it's actually like in this liquid called formidahide, which they preserve dead bodies in, which is really dangerous. And I'm scared that if someone eats it, I'm going to get sued. Listen, <laughs> oh my God. So, did it hurt? Yeah, I'm guessing it did hurt. What's the recovery process for getting a designer vagina? So I actually had my labia trimmed, right? Because I was always really self-conscious about my vagina because where I had worked with a lot of girls, yeah. they all had these, you know, like- oh, cool. Idealic, idealic, I, Ide idyllic, 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 tiny vaginas, you yeah. know, with all the guys, <clears throat> innies and all that. And mine was like one side was bigger than the other, but 
not a bit drunk, but it's normal. <laughs> yeah. It's normal and it's so normal, but yeah. no one ever commented on it. But when it's like your if own you're aware insecurity, of it, yeah. Yeah. you kind of want to fix sure. it, especially where it's your job and people are yeah, staring no, down so all the true. time. So he literally just cut like a triangle and then sewn it together like that. So it's now it's all perfectly Ooh. even. And I had light um, fat put on the outer parts. So it's puffier. You've got a fat pussy. Yeah. Amazing. With a PH. It's With a P- fat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That sounds kind of traumatic, but kind of good though. Doesn't sound like too bad. Honestly, now I... Now you I, refer me. Fuck it. I look down and I'm like, that is like... Because That's I, my girl. And I wish I could be one of those girls. Like I really preach that all bodies are like absolutely beautiful and you really like, um, you know, like I wish that I could pride myself into like yeah, being happy yeah. with what I had. But when I see other people's, I think it's completely fine. But when I think it's your own, like and it's what you're comfortable with yeah but I do feel like if you're going to do stuff it doesn't matter because it's if it makes you feel confident then it's fine because yeah. you're not looking at other people's going fucking hell look at that amp baguette do you know what I mean like <laughs> yeah. it's not actually it's just men like they're so mean men also fix your lopsided balls if you're going to say <laughs> anything about my vagina fix your balls that is so fucking Literally. cheeky sorry Callum. like darling you've got <laughs> you've got four and a half inches like yeah. why are you giving me shit Let's you're like half bold in a 22 move the focus <laughs> yeah go to Turkey and sort that shit out I that's know. insane but yeah, I think that that was like one of the best things because I've had my boobs done as well. But I oh, just, have you? What have you had? If you don't mind me asking, what have you like had done? Or, or yeah, not? so I actually had a BBL. Oh yeah, but it literally didn't work. Oh, okay, I think to <laughs> have mind. one of a BBL, you literally have to be have a lot of body fat put in and out. Yeah, like I can see the difference in the sense that like the 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 fat is taken out of my back, but now I'm losing all this weight. Right? It's, yeah. It it. it the fat's gone. It's like, and it's irreversible. When you put weight up back on, it doesn't go where they've put it. It goes back to your natural body oh, fat. Oh, of course, format. right. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Was it like I've seen um, videos on TikTok of people coming back from having BBLs and they're having to lay on black their... and blue? It, was that you? Oh fuck! I will show really? you pictures later. You'll be like Jesus Christ. Is it all? Is it actually as bad as people say it is? Oh well, yeah. it feels like you've been hit by a truck. Really? Oh, it's awful. Yeah, really bad. So when I had my JJ done, yeah. couldn't even feel it really you was... really are selling this to me you're gonna have to send me the link do you know the amount of girls that have like dm me and now we have like the same doctor we're just like walking around with these matching <laughs> badges that's what's like mate <laughs> <Man. That's> a... <laughs> oh my god. Nah. so oh my god yeah i just can't imagine the bbl recovery process yeah it's absolute hell and i think at first um i absolutely loved it but now i'm slimmer and everything like that mm. i'm just if you saw a picture of before and after i think that you know i think kim k for example must have had at least three or four because people oh go yeah back yeah oh for, what? yeah because you need to put fat on again and then put it back there put fat on and, and there so it's it's, like and it's danger i saw this tiktok of this girl she went to get a bbl and it was like gifted which is always i feel like was a red Turkey? flag part i think so actually um, and she woke up with like black and blue bruising all on her chest. Um, and then she went to the doctors because she was like, it really hurts. It turns out she was retu- no resuscitated three times. I've seen that. And they didn't tell her. I've seen that. Yeah. How fucked is that? Yeah, that's really bad. There's no way. You need to do your research, especially when you're doing, you know, plastic <coughs> surgery. Anything. It's your health. Yeah. I know yeah. that it's a cosmetic procedure, but. You're still it getting is. opened up, aren't you? That's yeah. fucked. And I think with um, what's so uh, dangerous about a BBL procedure is that the fat can be injected into a vein, which once the vein is clogged, you are brown bread. Really? Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, maybe I'll just stick to having flat arse. I know, you know it cost I mean? me 10 grand and it didn't even work. I But you can get implants, but then you get like massive scars on top of each like butt cheek, right? And imagine you're being raw dog from behind. I'm and then all it, they yeah. can see is like two scars. I was like, fuck that. Yeah, maybe I just, well, apparently you can get like injections, can't you? Yeah, filler. But, but then apparently it makes that. it hard. Like it doesn't, it, I don't know, apparently it's not what great. Like firm, like, yeah, maybe I do need a firm ass because there's nothing going on back there at the moment. What? No. No, I, it's the cargoes. There's nothing, I'm <laughs> telling you now, yeah. I need I'm I need like a cargoes. door. Yeah, say no more. <laughs> Sponsor me. Um, <laughs> no, but that's mad. So have you had a lot then or not much? If you've been here before, you know we absolutely love a drink on this podcast. So what is better than getting some free alcohol for you as a listener? Well, I'm here with some good news. Wine52 is offering you a free case of wine, which is usually 32 squids. But today 
is free. All you've got to do is go to www.wine52.com forward slash grace that's me and all you have to do is cover the postage of 5.95 and then you receive your free case of wine as you know i'm an alcohol connoisseur and i usually drink the disgusting battery acid corner shop wine but no more recently i've been dipping my toes into southern italian wines thanks to wine 52 so if you want your free case of wine go to www.wine52.com forward slash grace but done um, I have my tits done. Yeah. I have got a breast lift and implants because I used to be really, really fat. And Did then you? I lost loads of weight. So I was always like a really chubby kid. Right. Okay. Um, like I was, and then before I lost all the weight, I was like 11 and a half stone, which granted I'm five foot one. Yeah. And now I'm like nine and a half, but it was pure, just like body That's fat. Mad. So I went from having like E tits to like B overnight. So they were you like- had E tits. So like I had like E tits when I was like in year eight. I sat in my period when I was eight. Like, I'm just like... There's a few of those. I remember at primary yeah. school, the girls with massive tits would all have started their period. Yeah. And we'd be like, okay, they're milkies. That's but I also think that maybe it was just because I was a, like a massive porker. Like, they were just all fat. And they clearly were fat because when I lost the weight, they were just like... Oh, so they skin, sagged. Which... I know. Spaniels so I ears. Kind of Shit. I know. Did, was that... I know to be fair, I can imagine boob jobs <laughs> are fucking painful. There's no way. They weren't too bad. I feel like... I feel like you're walking like this for like a week. They hurt when you... Do you know when like... I remember like being on the way um, home in the car and you'd move side to side and you'd tense. That would hurt because you also like oh, subconsciously yeah. tense your chest if you're trying to stabilize. And you can't. Just let yourself flop. Yeah, they're like, I need the tramadol. <laughs> I need anything right now. I know. That's Where's the mad. crack? <laughs> yeah, you're in the right place for it right now. Don't worry. God. <laughs> so, do you want anything else done or not? I feel like you look great, though. I feel like. Yeah. Do you know what? Um, I've really learned, um, especially over the, like maybe the last like eighteen months or so, to like really accept myself and like be happy within myself. Yeah. Because I think that when I started earning money and you start to compare yourself with so many other people, oh, yeah. you get all these things done. And I feel like um, when you start, are you ever going to be fully happy? People with say that you fix one thing and then you're like, right, well now I can move my attention onto something else. Yeah. You see stuff that you didn't even see before. Mm. That's a dangerous game. That's why I'm scared to get anything done. And I, I have will, so many but, um, friends that um, are like so unbelievably beautiful and stunning. Mm. And they, they have these procedures and, and I think seeing that and seeing firsthand how beautiful they are, like granted, of course they look beautiful after, but yeah. did they need that? Probably you know, not, no. They, they, they don't. Yeah. It is, I feel like it's quite a toxic especially maybe your industry could be quite toxic because you're literally making yeah. money from obviously Looking. being pretty and like having an amazing body. Yeah. So of course, like when you're comparing yourself to all of those, that must be really shit. Yeah, it's really hard because you're always going to look at someone else um, specifically because we do exactly the same job. Really, yeah. Think, Why am I not doing better than her? Or as or, well as that, yeah. Yeah, so you, it really does get you down. Like Are 100%. you, is it quite like a community? Like, Are you all quite like friendly or is it more competitive? Um, or a bit of both it depends on like who you're surrounding yourself with like I've made a lot of friends and a lot of enemies in the industry but I think that's also the same with everything and I feel like I've made so many friendships uh, with people in the sex industry mm. and not, I, maybe they, they didn't always go as planned and everything like that but then I've got to remember that in school did you get on with everyone in your year group? Well, of course not yeah yeah that. because you do the same job doesn't mean you're always going to get on with yeah. each other and I feel like people feel like can they want to use like the girl power thing you should all be yeah. friends you're all doing the same thing but yeah. to be fair some people are cunts yeah and also I've seen you sag off other people in the group chat because you don't agree with it yeah like yeah. you're all as bad as each other I'm granted mm. like I, I've been there and you get involved with everything and it can oh. be Course, quite yeah. mm. like, I know what like, I'm not perfect but you know I think I've really separated myself you know, I have uh, like a small group of friends that I really try to stick to and I keep my circle really small now in terms of like letting people really mm -hmm. in um, I have acquaintances and people that I keep in contact with like loosely like more like casual friends yeah but keeping people really close I feel like that's the way to go especially when you start getting like known you never know people's actual intentions whether they just want to know you for like the tea or whether yeah. they just actually like you i know you might be like is that quite real <laughs> of course you're like yeah <laughs> subscribe and see <laughs> i'll tell you everything <laughs>
only fans and relationships is there a lot of people that you know that are in relationships on only fans or yeah. do you think it doesn't really go hand in hand um i know people that have been in a solid relationship beforehand and then started only fans and then that's never been an issue because you're kind of supporting each trust. other from the get-go yeah but then you know you get single girls that are like absolutely stunning and guys want to date them they want to be with them and you know it's that fetish thing yeah. they want to be with a porn star they want to be with someone that's great in bed that's sexy that's flamboyant well, you know they so know what they're open. doing yeah yeah and confident but then when they get with you they get controlling they don't want you to do it's it it's always anymore. the thought of it that they're like yeah of but course, then when other the men want you that's yeah. Ma yeah to be fair jealousy is like a thing though i don't think i could like because it's like even dating someone that who's like really fit that you know other people want is just like i can't do I know. That. I, I like a guy with no social media honey <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah you need like a drug dealer with a trap phone you know what i mean so, them no face dealers. no cake <laughs> <laughs> them drug dealers. i'm always talking about crack on here <laughs> on this one <laughs> episode crack <laughs> yeah it's fine i mean there's no difference to any of the other episodes that we've done so honestly we'll worry about it um i also wanted to talk about johnny sin oh my god i'm in love with him are you yeah well As you should be well, well like in a professional sense oh like, of course yeah how did that all happen yeah so he dm'd me like uh like quite a long time ago so he dm'd you yeah i love know, that right yeah. he dm'd me and he was like hey let's work together i was like okay cool and i think um this was during probably during covid so it, it he we were on each other's radars radars for a right. long time um and then i went to la in january and then we planned to work with each other and then we did loads of tiktoks and do you know what? he's such a good sport like i was just just i had my film crew there and i was like i have 10 tiktoks made today we're making these tiktoks <laughs> got to before the shoot so we didn't even get any punani at this point before oh, he this was point. just doing it on wait. air yeah <laughs> <laughs> Make him wait, thank you. Make him wait. So he did all the that work. And then we did a scene um, in the afternoon. And then I went back the next day and then did a scene in the Tesla. And do you know what? Yeah, there's the a reason Tesla, he's number that's one. That's the richest thing I've ever heard in my life. Love <laughs> oh, that. Oh, that date I'm in like the back of a Vauxhall Corsa. <laughs> that How was me when I was like 16. Lives change. Yeah, brilliant. Right. <laughs> But yeah, so it was good. It was really good. Really? And it, yeah. And I always said to him, I was like, um, you know, like, why do you think you're like number one? Because to me, that's really yeah. interesting, right? There's, yeah. There's how do you even become a number one porn star? Yeah, because there's Johnny happened? Sins and there's not really, for females, like, mm. I can think of so many amazing females. Well, for males, it's not really that kind of range at the level he is. Yeah. And he's just like, I think it's just because I got memed. <gasps> I was like, sorry. Yes, you did. Because <laughs> yes, he got me. Because he's so famous for being an astronaut, like a police officer, and fireman. How weird! Imagine yeah. going on Twitter and just seeing a meme, meme. of you as a firefighter. <laughs> a You'd be like, yeah, okay, fine. I know because he said to me, he's like, I am very vanilla. Like he'll only do what? like vaginal sex, and he doesn't do. Oh, all he doesn't G's do up the bum. No, I'm done. You know? Fair play. Yeah, so it's it's very like not boring but in terms of sex like sex and like orgies porn, and yeah fucking hell you've seen the stuff they do in eastern europe now you've got like four dicks in your arsehole and a badger at the same time and never mind the <sighs> sounds other sounds like a friday night yeah for 500 nice. pounds <laughs> yeah oh yeah <laughs> triple figures thank <laughs> you of course that's mad so why did he i suppose why is he so maybe it's because he does the dress up stuff yeah and he's iconic now and he's big on tiktok does he have a massive dick I mean, yeah, it's nice. And it's cut, which I mean, in England, most people don't have a circumcised No, they dick, don't, do they? do they? No. So you're a bit like, I don't want to like wank off midair on your podcast. <laughs> yes, yeah, fine, like, just it, do it. Does it yeah. go up and yeah. down? Because it doesn't move like a, like a yeah, foreskin, it doesn't. right? No, it doesn't. It's not the same feeling. No. But he is really good. Like he, he wow. afterwards I was like, I love you. <laughs> I bet he was <laughs> like, I get that a lot. I'm this fucking weirdo. And I was just so intrigued with him the whole time. Mm. So like before, like, well, imagine in the Tesla, you couldn't get away with me. No. So beforehand, I'm just like, so what do you think of Biden? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, starting conversation like. He's moving in, yeah. Oh <laughs> he's thinking, this fucking That's weirdo. Mad. I know, but he's unreal. Like he's, the, I, I really want to work with him again. Is because... there anyone else that you'd want to work with in the industry? Um, I can't think of any other boys, but girls, I think so many. I think Lana Rhodes, Riley Reid, Abella Danger is absolutely stunning. There's do you so, prefer oh, like White. one or the other? <laughs> like girls and Yeah, or like, do you just both? I wouldn't, um, right, so with girls, it's weird because I wouldn't look at a girl and think, right, I really want to date you. Yeah. But then when you get wet, you're like, I fucking <laughs> love girls. I would do that, yeah. You know, yeah, it's just yeah. like as soon as you get like a bit horny, it's just like, you know, like 
it, it sways. But then yeah, I've always been attracted to men. I don't know. Does that is that by curious? Have you put a label on it? I, I just feel like don't even shove the label on it. Yeah, just it's do just it. Slack. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just love it all. I'll just take love it all. The veg AJ. Is there a porn star? I can. I do not know his name. Yeah, but he has like a leg tattoo. Um, and it's all, and then it's like, it's like a black leg tattoo and then it comes off with like at the alphabet. Do you know who I'm talking about? No. Someone's got a, no, he's got a, um. American. I think so, but he's a really big porn star. He's the only one that I, like, I know if I could spot him out on the street. Do you have any other tattoos? And someone Google this porn star with <laughs> black leg tattoo. Is it Owen Gray? It's that Owen Gray. It's Owen. Has he got scars? He has like body. Um, <laughs> it's like tattoos. Oh, like modification. Scars. Yeah, like we scars. Each to their own, I guess. But he always use like toys on girls and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. he's the only one that I like Fuck know so of. <laughs> well, you should work with him. Don't. Owen. I if you're watching Saving up. Grace, which obviously he is, <laughs> uh, hit Come you up. Me. Come fly with England to England. I'll give Please. you that goat fruit ting. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm getting the train. Like, yes! Get in the train, get in the plane. <laughs> I know. But um, yeah, John Easton's is amazing. Um, I don't really shoot. Um, you know, when I first started, you know, I said about like OnlyFans girls yeah. and I went into club and stuff like that. It was something I did a lot. Whereas now I mainly concentrate on being mainstream i think a little bit my mm -hmm. brand has shifted from being um this like porn star to a tiktoker yeah but i'm always going to be tainted a porn star and i know that and I, I never would want to change that because that's yeah. who i am and how i grew but um it's kind of more mainstream in the way that people know me from tiktok now rather than me being raw dog vibe, dress up Pep Golly. Well, <laughs> yeah, but I feel like that's like, um, doesn't happen often. A lot of the people that do like the OnlyFans or whatever, they're always branded as just that. Mm. People don't know them as anything else, but you've actually managed to, how did you like branch out onto TikTok? Was it specific videos that you do or was, did you just go, do like whatever? Um, at the time, I used to be kind of naughty with it because you'd always see like innuendos, you know, like TikTok. I think it's changed a little bit now, but when it last year no. it was very sound yeah. that would say words and you'd just make it applicable to like I something. I only remember one video that I saw of you and it was like rating things that I've used <gasps> yeah. and it was the most like random stuff like deodorant bottle, six out of 10. <laughs> like yes! it was like I remember seeing that one. Yeah, because I got the inspiration because um, someone was just like filming random objects in their hands and rating it. Yeah. And I thought, hey, I can make this my own. And it so, banged as and well. And so many people did it afterwards. So it kind of like you started, started the a trend. trend. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, Love I was really that. proud of that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember seeing that. I was like, oh my God, did she actually do that? That's bad. I know. <laughs> Me just vanilla at home, like a virgin. Like, wow. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. I know. Don't touch anything in my house. No. <laughs> yeah, everyone's wearing gloves when they walk into your house. No. Fuck that. All the boys are like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. if you invited random men into your house, they would probably have a field day. I Can know. I sniff your sheets. Okay. They'd go into like my work room and be like. Oh, do you have a work room? This is really unnecessary. I really wanted to build a dungeon. As you should. You need one of those beds with the mirrors yes. on at the top. Yeah. I know. And like, do you know, like a sex swing? Like, who needs one? Because I could barely do doggy <laughs> yes. anyway. I'm like, ow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you might as well for the fun of it. Why not? Just looks a bit cool. Might be able to sell it for a bit. I'd just be swinging on it anyway without even the sex. I'm like, Woo! we should do a podcast on yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be feeling sick by the 40th minute. I'm like, oh, I've got to start. Yeah, yeah, I've got to go. That's mad though. To be fair though, I feel like a TikTok, it's so good to have a TikTok platform because so many people have TikTok. Yeah, it's So your one. audience must have been so like yeah. branched out from that. Yeah, and especially when you look into the ana a analytics. <laughs> analytics. <laughs> Literally, yeah, yeah. Analytics. Um, <laughs> you, you can see all like, to, to be fair, it's like 90% men, which- Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah, isn't shocking. I don't case for the female audience. Well, yeah. Um, but yeah, and it's like worldwide, which is crazy. But yeah, I think that is something that really excelled my brand. And I think that, um, you know, people have started cotton on to it because mm -hmm. I see a lot of more sex workers now doing it. But the yeah. reason I actually moved on to TikTok was because my Twitter got deleted. And at the time, Did I... It? 
thought the world was going to end. Yeah. I've never cried so much in my life. I had a 350,000K account that I'd been making for two and a half years Fucking gone like that hell. overnight. You couldn't get it back? I got it back after six months. So, and I think that, you know- I still hope for my Instagram, please. <laughs> Don't, I've had Karen. so many Instagrams <laughs> deleted. Have you? Yeah, and I think that maybe this is my- got a link or what? What? <laughs> oh my God, link. just for being too <laughs> naughty. Like, you know, like trying to do pics like, ah! <laughs> on your yeah, knickers, which isn't allowed on Instagram. I think I just swung this a little bit. <laughs> We're back in position. We're going more to the side. <laughs> um, for being too naughty. But I think that maybe that's why kind of when you look at my brand, why it is so strong because I've never been defeated. You know, I've had seven TikTok accounts. I've had my Twitter's been deleted. Oh yeah, TikTok's my brutal with it. My Instagram's been deleted. I've had 30 Snapchat um, <sighs> taken down. And I think in the sex industry, and I think that why as a whole it is so good as well because these women are so resilient and they're so adaptive to change. You yeah. Know? Beforehand, you know, they just used to do things in real life, whereas now we can provide this service online. You can do it anywhere. In the comfort of my own home. In a dressing gown, when I took the pics last night, I looked absolutely course, amazing. So you're just like, I don't look like that now. I look <laughs> I nothing like, like that wanna now. Wanna have some fun when I literally look like a crackhead. <laughs> do you have like people come up to you on the street recognizing you or not oh. really? Oh my God, this morning I'm driving to my gym. Mm -hmm. I'm in traffic in Loughton. I've got... What I've clocked no. one school kid. Not I'm a school kid. kid. Yes, school kid. Oh my God. I've clocked one. Next thing I know, motherfucker's got his posse. He's man them. I'm, going I'm not even joking. Like 20, like, hell, I'll show you. Oh I'll show you the video. My God. And I, do you know, I mean, these are kids. This is not my audience. So this is something. You're on the register now after that. I know, They're hunting I am you down. Jimmy Savile. I'm calling Astrid <laughs> the nonce. That's the clip the now. nonce now? That's why. <laughs> oh my God. I was like, please. No, that's so uncomfortable. It. I know. They're just filming me like li on my window, <sighs> on my window. Oh, so they're proper up to your window? Yeah, like screen recording me like this. Oh, like, oh my God. No, I just want to go then, lift like, They weights. asked me out the audacity to be like, you look really fit. Want to go out? Like, bro, you're 12. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, to be fair, I guess it's better than a, what was it? Maybe it's better than a dirty old man. Uh, God, At least I'd ones of age. I'd in the legal category. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's a kink that people want. Do you know what I mean? Who knows? What, Who the knows? Old man? Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you think Johnny is like. Is he old? He's in his 40s. He's not is young. He? He's not a young king anymore. But I loved it. Oh, his bold head. Well, apparently, like. old men are meant to be like better anyway because they've had years of experience. Yeah. Are you on Pornhub? <laughs> yeah, I've got two videos. I've got Have one you? video of like me fucking this black guy and his <laughs> dick is like a fucking weapon. It's like the size of my forearm. Do you ever feel like. <sighs> Fucking hell, I don't know if I can do that. Well, I'm out of my depth here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I was in the back of my range. Vaginal boot, depth. Just getting yeah. pounded. I but should, also, yeah. I also found with like, um, normally the bigger the dick, the like unhard it is, if that makes sense. It's a bit softer. So oh. it doesn't hurt as much. Whereas really? I've had white cocks that are like, like a hammer, like hard. Mm. Whereas it's like the really big ones are slightly flammable. Not flammable, pl plowable. Sparks like Play flying. Yeah. <laughs> God, Shit. yeah. That's really weird. Do you think yeah. they're all real? Can you get like dick? Um, I'm swinging. I'm like, ah! <laughs> well, you were touching word, big dick for life. <laughs> Thank you, please. <laughs> but do you think, can you get like a dick enhancement? Um, well, I've seen the, the ads on Pornhub. I don't know if they're real though. <laughs> yeah, I've seen some of the ads on Pornhub and I don't know if they're legit. I know you can get like penis pumps. It's heard of them. And pussy pump. Have you seen the Vajay one? Sorry? Yeah, people That sounds like a bash. queef in a bottle. What What does that do? It just makes it look like, honestly, like soggy potatoes. Like mash. Like really swollen, puffy. I feel sick. I know. Yeah. Okay. Why would you need that? I don't know. People have really weird fetishes. I was going to say, have you had any really weird DMs where people are asking you to do shit? I once sold a video. This was when I first started of me doing a shit for like 20 seconds. I knew this was going here. This <laughs> fucking podcast and shit. Every episode. Carry on. Yeah, so I did a turd and filmed it. And um, I sold that for like 300 pounds. When you say you did a shit and filmed it, on yeah. the toilet? Yeah, so I was on the toilet. So imagine you normally sit on the toilet like how I'm sat, right? I do, yeah. So I went on backwards and kind of squatted so you can see the camera angle from behind. And the only feedback he had was that I didn't show my dirty bum hole. But that was 300 quid. That's I was amazing. Like, I was like, uni, I'm like, I am rich. <laughs> <laughs> I got to have morals. Is there anything you wouldn't do? Anything I wouldn't do. Uh, well, in person stuff, I think that's my limits. Like anything right, okay. online, as long as it's legal and not that weird. You mean like 
I think things that other people find weird, I don't find weird. Like, I wouldn't do anything that's, you know, like, bestiality or anything like that. Evidently. Oh, yeah, don't fuck a horse. <laughs> Dear God. Yeah. Oh, my God, no. no. But, like, anything weird that I've done, yeah. I once did a custom video where I pretended I got raped by a ghost. <gasps> oh, my God, like American Horror Story vibes. <laughs> nice. Nice. How do you ever go about that? No, please. Yeah. Oh, I can't remember. It was just like so odd, but I don't really, um, I don't do customs how anymore or anything like that. Do you have a, how do you find out you have a kink that is yeah. a ghost raping you? Some people have like armpit kinks. So you just send them pictures of your armpit. I could do that. Uh, belly buttons. Yeah. And some people have like weird kinks that like are just off the back of your throat. So you just do like a 10 minute, say this is the phone, like a 10 minute yeah. custom just being like, they should just train to be a dentist, no? Oh, stop. Um, what are you going to think next time we go to the dentist? I'm going to be like, you're having a fucking great day today. <laughs> you, yeah. you are getting off You have friend. a good look because it's awful. Um, no, so, because we had um, the girl that we just had on, Callie, this guy asked her to pretend he was a dog. Yeah. Have you had that? Like furry vibes. Yeah, I know you do get people. I think it's, um, it actually stems down to <laughs> like being dominant with someone because if it's if you're pretend to be an animal or anything like that is that it's portraying like submission. dominance it's submission Submissive, isn't it, it yeah. like being a pet so therefore you're the the alpha and they're the submissive it's mad that we walk past people on the street like this and we'd have no idea yeah. that they want to be treated like a cat yeah or something like they that they went off to like milf porn like, yeah like not milf oh. porn but you know like stepsis porn like do you why have is that plans? so normal i I was so weird, right? Weird, because listen, I'm not doing shit like that. If my mum ever gets remarried, they can fuck off. <laughs> I'm locking my door at night because I know they're probably into it. But next time you put your washing in, yeah. step oh, bro. I'm stuck. <laughs> Where's the detergent? No, stop can it. Do I don't it. even know why that's a kink. But I think that people just love like a kinky backstory because, you know, porn, there's everything's been done that you need to kind of have something to up the tempo in order to enjoy it. Yeah, there's, oh my God, there's going to be a stage though when everything has been done. Done. Oh yeah! Like it's everything has been it. done. Fucked a vodka bottle. That's yeah. quite tame, actually. Well, think what of you've one, just said. one man, one jar. <laughs> Two girls, one cup. <laughs> oh, I've never no. been the same. I think I watched that when I was twelve. That's probably why I do yeah. porn now. Yeah, <laughs> you were like, I need to do that. I need <laughs> to get do. FOMO. Would you let someone shit in your mouth? Oh no! Did you see the Dubai thing? That's exactly why I asked. What about chest? Um, I'm not being you probably if you're famous enough yeah. yeah I was thinking that as well yeah listen <laughs> I've been pissed we're on in the I've million on people. oh golden showers yeah how'd you find that I'm not a golden shower well, 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 it's not I don't know how to describe it but do you know what a funny story I'm ready so Google has confused me with another porn star that's like 43 <gasps> and she's been in Sorry. a tape called golden showers too <laughs> so everywhere online says I've been in a movie called golden showers too so when you said that I was like <laughs> golden showers too that sounds yeah. like an intense pissing yeah so I, can't, I haven't watched it but I can imagine there's like sword fights everywhere oh yeah the fact that there's a number two not just a one <laughs> means the prequel, there's they yeah, have to make it bigger yeah. and better it's like lord time. of the rings <laughs> But Lord of the Piss, I don't know what's going on. That's mad though. Maybe, no, I don't know if I can have someone piss on me. Really? Yeah, maybe if they drank like loads of gallons yeah. of water. I mean, if it's day. like a, like, you know, that prime bottle orange piss, I'd rather die. Yeah, yeah. If they've been drinking monsters and shit, oh, no, they can it. absolutely Living fuck on McDonald's, off. the diet. I think you'd probably like die of like the germs. It would be like acid. Yeah, but having a turd on you can't be good for you. But at least you can pick it up. If it's solid, <laughs> you can literally pick it up oh, and go. You'd pick that over your hand. Yeah, but then it's stuck in your nails. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe not with acrylic. Yeah, maybe <laughs> I'll get like a spatula or something and just throw it away. Be like, you can shit on me and pay it, but you have You've to got to remove it, it. Yeah, why am I doing it? <laughs> this is why you do this work and I don't. I'd get mugged off. Well, that is a really wet one. A what? Oh, if a it's wet a wet one, one. I think my soul would just leave my body. <laughs> like, it's like dripping down. You're like, oh my God. What, like splat? I would die. No, Imagine that's there's sequel in it. What would you do? <laughs> I'd have to go. <laughs> Might be a bit peckish now, Too but... late! <laughs> My five a day got a bit of protein oh, in it. So That's the worst thing I've ever like, at life. least it's not your monster diet. Well, got the exactly. Bit of sweet corn. We know he's treating himself nice. Oh, stop anyway, it. we're going to move on from that. Out. No, I feel sick. You know, because I think I had a chicken and sweet corn sandwich before <laughs> this. My fave. Is it? Yeah, that's Great minds, so I have to say. Although, if you eat tuna and sweet corn on a train, a someone fave. needs to have a conversation with you. But do you like tuna? 
No idea. Yeah. Oh, I do like tuna yeah. jacket. Potato. Unless men are watching, then no idea. <laughs> I would never eat fish. <laughs> Anything fishy is my minge. <laughs> no, seriously, write that down. Don't write that down. Anyway, we're going to move on from that conversation. Yeah. DMs. Yeah. I know your DMs yeah. must be wild. Yeah. Mine probably look like the Pope's. Yours must be wild. Have you had any blue ticks in there that you were like, oh, yeah. Do you know what? Like, who, I've exposed so many people like back. And I, I feel like it's Tom Zanetti's so, been in yours, surely. Tom Zanetti. I don't actually think he has. I'm sorry, Tom. But so many that. people have. And I feel like they stopped after <laughs> I made a TikTok. I make it and like oh, exposing. Oh, did you do TikToks? I made a TikTok exposing footballers, which was like Ben Mendy, Matty Cash, um, oh Chowdhury. God. There was like a few of them and I can't remember the other ones that were in it. But I think ever since then, I haven't had that many, but to be honest, even if I had a look, it, I get so many. Like I probably get like a 150 DMs every day. So I feel Fucking like- hell. Yeah. Dick pics in the oh, DMs? Oh, the lot. Oh. Unsolicited. Of course. Every yeah. time. That's disgusting. Sometimes I do get tempted just to like go on their profile and like DM it to their mum. As you, I feel like you should do that. That'll make a <laughs> good mean, video as well. I feel like that, that's kind of a bit unnecessary, isn't it? Yeah, it could be. But you know, so's the unsolicited dick pic. That's what I've got to say. Especially when they're small. And also you don't know how old they are. So when you open them, it's like... Oh my God, they could be 14. Imagine. She said she was 12. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, like you have to accept it now, thank God. Like you can't even see the picture before you open it. So just oh, don't yeah. open the picture. Tap to view. Do you know what I like doing though? Opening a voice note. Love that. I know. So you get random people confessing shit. their love. Yeah. Oh, I know that you will never listen drunk. to this, but I love you. I think you're amazing. And I just want to know that you're the greatest person oh, in the world. And you're like, yeah. I Yeah. And then you get people like, fuck you, fucking bitch. <laughs> you slag. And you're like, yeah. all right, yeah. You worthless piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kill you. I'm like, oh, I love the contrast. Yeah. <laughs> What's yeah. my Monday? You need to bring him back down to earth. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> From that really nice one. I know. Well, Got okay. me humbled. Have you had anyone in your DMs that you really didn't expect? I didn't expect. You're really picking my brain here. I'm having yes, to think. I'm like, oh, I didn't expect. Maybe if I actually had a thought about it, I had so many people DM me like because it's over three years. I can imagine so. footballers. Fucking footballers. A lot of footballers. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. But. Anyone that I like really wouldn't expect. Can you take one for the team and do something with Jack Grealish? Because I just want to see what he's like in bed. Yeah, he's never DM me, but he did like all my Instagram hacks. So <sighs> I put that on my CV. I, know, I actually and I, would. I made a TikTok of it and then he unliked my pics. Oh. No, yeah, his so girlfriend was definitely lesson. like, what did you do? And he was like, nothing, babe. Yeah, look, nothing. where's I swear the God. evidence? <laughs> but I actually have got a screen recording, so if anyone wants it, I did that I'll first. I'll sell it for a tenner. Yeah. Thank you. Find it on my OnlyFans. So what do you think of the TikTok scene? HS Tiki Toki. Yeah. Ed Matthews. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Like, obviously, um, with Ed, there's, like... It, we're on the same card boxing, so we're going to overlap and overline a little bit. But oh, wait. Is that Matthews doing a boxing match? Yes. Did I missed this. With who? What? With Simple Simon. Are you really? Just... I didn't know this. Yeah, we're, we're co-main. Hang on, Simple Simon? Who's Simple Simon? The one that Astrid used to do videos with. He's like 52, S bit of a geezer. Oh my God, no I did Wait, why is he yeah, fighting Ed so Matthews? he's fighting Ed, which is 19. You know, what a time I think to he be just alive. wants to touch a young boy. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. <laughs> I know, his nickname Simon. is Simple Savile. <gasps> <laughs> Simple Savile. I bet his daughter's like. I know. Nah, poor girl. Poor girl. Yes, yeah, so you know who I'm on about now. You know exactly daughter, yeah. who you're on about. Yeah, so they're doing a boxing match. So like, um, I think that Ed did like a TikTok the other day of like me and Astrid. Like she copied my TikTok exact same, and it was like a like a collage of us both. And then he was like mid. And the funniest thing is he DM me. He in, like, said March. mid. Isn't he five foot two? Yes. So he DM me in March, and um, I was like, just because I left you in like message dead. request, short king. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw that. Don't worry, I give it a like for you girls. Don't worry, I got this. That is, to be fair, the confidence of them both. I really do. The audacity as well. No, the audacity <laughs> of them both. Because I see HS Tiki Toki all the time He's on live. He's a bit fit though, isn't he? No, he is a bit. I hate him. Don't. I do hate him. But he is good looking. I feel bad because he, he makes girls cry. He's a 
He doesn't he do legs, sorry, I just clocked what you just said. Yeah, he doesn't do legs. Have you so. ever done, a, you don't do lives though, do you? Today, this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, uh, with professional therapists online to help you through the twists and turns of your life or your mental well-being while watching this podcast. It's not a crisis line, it's professional help with real people and you're going to be one of two million people to be able to log in and just get therapy anytime, any day, whenever you feel like it. At some point, everyone needs to talk to someone, including me, which is why I started this podcast. So if you want to go on to www.betterhelp.com forward slash saving grace, where you can get 10% off of your first month. So that is www.betterhelp.com forward slash saving grace. Get talking. No, but he made a TikTok saying like, um, so he had a screen recording of me boxing and it was like, hey, you're struggling to lose the weight. I'll give you my meal plan. But if you hold this wood, I'll give it to you for free. Like, bruv, it's 20 quid. That's one subscription, you know. Like, do you really think I need That's that 20 one quid? Subscription. That's one subscription. That is... I'm not going to say X amount of minutes, but <laughs> <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Subscribe to find out. <laughs> That's Matt. So have you ever met either of them? Um, no, I've met Simple Simon. I met him last week for TikTok. Oh, was he nice? Yeah, he's actually like a really genuine. Okay, fella. I my bad. Sorry. He's really nice. Sorry, Simon. No, he's fine. He's, it, it, I thought it was a bit weird before I met him, to be honest. Bit of a weird brand, there. but not one to judge. Are you guys doing your boxing in the same place, the match? Yeah, so we're one after the other, like... Oh, is it on the same day? Yeah. Do you know what day it is yet? 16th of July. 16th of July. Oh my God, Are that's you gonna come? so... Yeah, give me I'll, the invite. I'll, get, I'll, I'll be get fucking there. Tickets. No, seriously, Seriously. please. Like, I'm going to, like, go to the guys organising right now. No, do it. Grace needs to come. Grace needs to bring the side, okay? Fuck Astrid. Look at me. (laughs) So even though the situation, I'm like, fuck her. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Don't worry. Thank God, because most people, sometimes I do these, like, interviews with, like, boxing people, and then I'm slagging her off. And they're just like, okay, so we need to stay, like, middle ground. I saw this one of you, and he was like, obviously, I'm going to stay neutral. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that. that. No. You came on here. I'm on your side. Don't worry about it. You got my vote. I interview her. I was thinking, okay, but I am going to win. You can just say that. No, we were all saying you are a hundred percent good because you're actually quite ripped. Yeah, so I've already like show, like show you here. Yeah, get the views in. Get that zoom you in. See these apps? That no, it must be nice. I'm covering mine. Uh, I'm yeah, sweaty, no, but can you see them? That is. Ins- have you gone to the gym for a long time? No. So basically, I've on and off. You know, I said I had that like ever since. Oh, I had that BBL <laughs> and everything like that. Yeah. Like I was always like kind of curvy and everything like that. So I kind of didn't feel like and to be honest I got really lazy after that like I was into fitness I mean you don't surgery. need to do you have a BBL so uh, fuck it yeah but like my body was never like amazing like mine never looked like B- um, BBL like Kim <laughs> K's like they are very varied like 100% oh, very yeah. varied like it also depends on you know your hips bone structure to your mm-hmm. rib cage and everything like that so I got really lazy so um <laughs> I kind of did weightlifting on and off but ever since I got this um the weight, the, so when I first started this, I was like 62. Astrid was 53. So, and we've agreed for 54 to 56. So I would have had to lose 6kg. But it doesn't, it's annoying that you have to lose weight. Yeah, but I wanted I mean? the fight. So, yeah, true. So I, I had to, um, I had to go down. So I think that was the only way. And she was being really anal about it. But are you nervous for it? Do you know what? I am so gassed. I feel like this is the thing with the fight. Because did you ever watch Cheyenne and Tommy on TikTok? No. The couple, there was, I don't know what was going on here, but there was like this TikTok couple. Yeah. And then she fought a girl. He fought a guy. It was all very, ma- it was like the B-Tech version of yours. Nice. Um, please don't make Be a rich. video about me. I really didn't mean that. Um, And they were proper fighting. And it was like one of the girls lost. And it was so awkward because she was the one like bigging it up. She's like, I'm going to fucking punch your face in. And then she lost. And everyone was like, Phew. like, are you scared of the back? You won't lose. But if you did lose, are you scared of the backlash of it? Yeah, like um, I saw a clip actually where she was talking to HS Tiki Toki and they were, he, she, he was like, she's bigger than you, are you scared? And then she turned around and she was like, no, the loudest one usually is not going to win. And then he just like analyzed like, Conor McGregor is still good. Look how cookie he is. So true. You yeah. are Conor McGregor. I am. Con- do you know yeah. what? I've Just always been hairy. a fighter. I've yeah. got a sister that to the day, January the 12th, is one year older than me. I'm 98. She's 97. Fucking hell. Yeah, madness. All the so I've always grown up like literally battering the shit out of her. Of course. Um, I've always had fights in school. So I've always been kind of like. <laughs> Brafty, I've Campbell always had fights in school. So yeah, I've always, I've, I've got a lot nicer since I've grown up. I cannot up. imagine you fighting at school. <laughs> Were you fighting a lot? Can't imagine Obviously you at not school. every other week. I'm talking about I had about three in years. That's like seven brilliant. To Did 11. you win? 
Um, to be honest, it was a lot of like. Ugh. Oh, hair! <laughs> are you gonna take your like? Are you gonna take your hair? Like, what are you gonna do with your hair? Yes. Yeah, so um, I actually booked to get my hair out to. This is probably shaking. <laughs> I got my hair uh, booked to take my hair out two weeks before the fight, and then I'm gonna get it braided because the, yeah. when you're sweating, this to get if it gets in your way, you're gonna get Can't wallop. See. But I'm I'm actually like I have full on persuading myself I'm gonna knock her out. And if I didn't do anything but less, and especially specifically because of the doxing yeah. thing, and I think what is so deep about the boxing uh, boxing doxing, doxing thing, right? Yeah. It never benefited her. Or like it, yeah. Like what did it actually do? Up, it didn't. It yeah. only really hurt mm. me. Like you didn't, you didn't make me look bad. Yeah. It was just like purely vicious bad and malicious. intentions. Yeah. Like you didn't get anything out of it. So as I said earlier, like um, I really need to do some damage on her because otherwise it's all for nothing. And especially where I was like, oh, I want to do boxing. I'm gonna be like, not only that, I've had literally my whole world. Because when it happened yeah. that night, I literally thought my whole world had ended. Like I thought Elbrook was dead. Really? Me. Yeah, because it's something I'd worked so hard for for three years that I was kind of in this sense like, who am I anymore? Like, am I Crystal or am I Al? Because well, you changed your TikTok name to Crystal. Because I had to own it. I, 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 yeah. I had to be like, you are not this you you can't take this away from me i'm gonna own mm, it for me yeah like you have already done so much and like obviously now I'd, I'd, I'd prefer to be l because that's something that i've done for so many like years yeah. now it's something i'm used to it's something i'm i'm comfortable with um and it's so weird because the next day she exposed her real name it was definitely because it got nothing out of that. So she was like, yeah. I've got to just oh, do guys, something. Look, I'm not lying to everyone. My middle fake name, which she changed legally, is Astrid. Really? But that's okay if you're okay with it. Doesn't yeah, mean I'm yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like everyone has their boundaries and you've completely you pushed in. And now you're like you're lights done. out on that ring. I cannot wait. Yeah, no, everyone thinks <laughs> you're going to absolutely yeah. smash her. And, and I've got should. a sick boxing trainer as well. Like I think that she's gone for, her trainer is just someone that um, is like, boxer but like i've got mark tips who literally fights um who trains the female banterweight champion nah because if she actually <laughs> listens to this she's gonna be like maybe we should move the date yeah <laughs> maybe we should move a little so, bit the thing is on. she's done so much now like if she pulls out like that only shows like you're gonna lose like that's a massive i can't out. wait to see this i don't think i'm so excited it's the only so thing guys. i'm living for after this i'll be like yeah because yesterday time's I got up. Up a button, like Punched up, like, can you see my lip? Look, it's like blue. What have you done? Oh, what, in the training? Yeah, I spotted Jess, I got the shit beaten out of me. Well, do you know what, it's, it's practicing. It's character you know I mean? It's fine, yeah. <laughs> Here it is. Yes, it is. Rather yeah. you than me. Honestly, uh, but so, yeah. I'm training hard, really hard, and it's just like, you know, my trainer's putting me through my paces. Like, the girl I was fighting yesterday was so much bigger than me as well. So, um, you know, we've tra he always says to me, train hard, fight easy. So, she's going to be walking along. You're going to be ducking loads. I mean, the <laughs> technique. <laughs> oh, yeah. Might Flash your tips like quick and then do it again. Distract her. Might dab in between. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You owe me 50 quid. Go like... <laughs> This is insane. I've never met such. Do you want to do boxing in the future then? Do you know what? I could actually see myself. Um, do you know when I kind of like. It's like KSI. Yeah, I don't want to like, like uh, gas myself up a little bit, but do I have it. taken to it like a bit like duck to water. Like it's something that I'm naturally built like. Um, I'm not petite. And if you look on all my TikToks, my nickname is Brock Lesnar and it's what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Like people, or bulking tips, like people will always take the piss out of like my yeah. body type and everything like that. So why not monetize it and benefit it and make it a career? It's something that I've oh, always course. done and I've always benefited from. Yeah. You give me opportunity, I'm only going to fucking take it. As you should. Yeah. This of would course. be who who would be the person that you'd want to fight after this? It's kind of hard. Don't right? say me because I'm not doing that. <laughs> it's hard that. because um, it would be hard to build a narrative that me and Astrid had because it's There's always been that bit rivalry. Beef there, yeah. But anyone else, like maybe would you, Tana Mondegu, like someone American, Tana Mojo? Yeah. Oh my god, did I just put Trina? You did. I did. But I would pay genuine money for that. But I really love her, so it'd be hard. No, same. Yeah, I would, I really but that would be an amazing. And I feel like she'd do a boxing match as well. Just because she's like, I love her and I love her brand, and she's so big. I think that in the UK, it'd be. I can't really think of anyone to hand unless they're like big Americans. I think that would yeah. be the next step to like. She's like an iconic American person as well. She's like. 
the best kind of trashy. Oh, yeah. Like, she doesn't give a shit. I love her. Amen. I worship her, yeah. Let's go to America and find her. Yeah. So, she probably knows peace who you are, you know. Knows. I always think when people are scrolling through TikTok, have they yeah. seen our TikToks? Probably. Yeah, I know. Probably. Because the amount of people that come up on, on ours. So, yeah, the most random people as well. Like, sometimes it'll be like a TikTok of, like, free likes. I'm like... Imagine if they knew we'd just seen their TikTok like, I know. on our free page. Like, I remember like, ta- do you know Max Taylor Lifts who does like the, the Ryan Reynolds? Like, oh, yeah, the yeah. I remember like when he first reached out to me, I'm like, how do you even know I exist? Do you know like people you know like that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's just Mad. like, you know, like people that you speak to and converse with like mm-hmm. on a daily basis, it's just like so out of touch when you're in our industry because we're all like similar to each other. Right? Yeah. Granted a few millions in between. Well, amen. <laughs> So is there anything specifically you want to do in the future, whether it's like porn, just stick to OnlyFans or just do business type stuff? Yeah. Um, I don't really know where I want to go with my brand. I think obviously the next thing is boxing because that is something I'm thoroughly enjoying. And also I feel like in terms of my career, have I... um, not plateaued but made the most of what i got already i mean with only fans it's gonna <coughs> constantly grow you know make more pono ponos, <laughs> ponos <laughs> suck more dick do more things but getting in the public eye i think my um perfect idea would be to become more mainstream so as i'm kind of getting already i'm not known to be just that of star just that porn star i want to yeah. be known as like a personality so that would give me more opportunities with brands and deals because obviously i can't do what yeah. i do forever i have an expiry day and yeah. i don't know when that is and i and also not necessarily in terms of looks like you might just not enjoy it one day yeah i had enough you might have a family you might have kids so do having, you feel weird knowing that your kids might be able to access your stuff would you not really care um to be, I think that you would have to have that conversation with them mm. uh, pretty early on-ish. But because as soon as, you know, you'd rather you tell them and be upfront with them and kind of grow up with them knowing rather than them find out from school. Because at least they can own it, right? It's like Kim K. Yeah. And he's on like roadblocks. Yeah. Hor- I can't believe that. <sighs> nah, that's you fucks. Just, you know, like, I think that when you have, um, well, especially the way I've grown up anyway, like honesty is the best form of cunamic. communication (laughs) honesty is the best form of communication so you just have to be honest with them so even if they do get bullied one day like hopefully like i'll just pick them up in my ferrari like yeah be like are you actually complaining (laughs) yeah rafari ferrari Ferrari? yeah so we're gonna do a snog marry avoid bit now yeah um i'm gonna do some with tiktok so we're gonna do snog marry avoids what if i don't know them you will hs tiki toki Ed Matthews or Simple Simon? Oh, no, you're naughty. I will. Oh. I will. I am. <laughs> so I really wouldn't. I'd rather stick pins in my eyes and do any of them. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Simon's invited to my barbecue on Saturday. Oh, thank God this is airing afterwards. <laughs> Marry Simon. Right? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> um, right. I would. Oh, do you know what? Ed and HS are so dense. They are so <laughs> fucking dense mm. um i would kill fuck it i'd actually kill simon what i just sorry i didn't expect that i thought Tiki, you were gonna be like snog right. ed really yeah. ed's gonna be like she said she's not great yeah thank you so much just because i don't have to see his like four inch car yeah do you think it's big or small oh i reckon it's tiny especially because he's on the roids as well oh uh, yeah mm. We all seen cocks on Roy honey, and they ain't pretty. And it's in woods. It really <laughs> is. Can you hold this wood, yeah. even though it's a twig? What Can you words? hold this twig? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna cry. <laughs> what wood? <laughs> that ain't no mahogany. That is literally a twiglet. No, oh, I'm really scared if he reacts to these videos because he'll be like that horse-looking bitch on the left. Like, all right, yeah, Brock yeah. Lesnar. Yeah. <laughs> give me your way, look. We need to leave some way. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. We can cry over that together. <laughs> hey, snog, marry, avoid. Yeah. Owen Gray. Yeah. Johnny Sims. <laughs> okay. And Lana Rhodes. Um, <clears throat> kill Owen. Sorry, I really love you, but the other two are insane. Marry Johnny, because if I could have that cock every day of my life, <laughs> chef's a kiss and snog Lana, even though I might give her a cheeky finger. As you should. That's yeah, fine. How would they know? It. They'll She's never know. Hard, I'm trying day. to think of other people to do. Tommy Fury, Jake Paul, KSI. Mm, Tommy Fury can go. He's a bit wet. Um, Sorry, Tommy. Marry KSI and fuck Jake Paul. Really? Why would you marry KSI? 
just seems a bit funny. He is quite funny. Yeah, he and he's he just lost his like hamster. He needs some love. I know. Yeah? He does seem like a bit of a mummy's boy, doesn't he? I hear that. He just like want a cuddle, but he's probably like I don't know. Tommy Fury is just so wet, like so bloody wet. It just yeah, like I feel a wet like, flannel. Yeah, there's maybe not. He seems a like a lovely dry, man. Lovely man. Bland. But mate, not funny. I think men need a bit of like if yeah. I was to date the <laughs> bit of spunk. <substance. laughs> that too <laughs> fill the balls i feel like they need so sorry i've got my chin on that they need something uh, any other box it right um conor oh. mcgregor yeah tommy F no who's tyson fury yeah or anthony joshua anthony joshua conor mcgregor and tyson fury yeah marry tyson fury guys fucking legend i love him i agree and man is six foot nine is he six foot nine six foot nine. Oh my god Fuck aj and been off the short king oh really yeah aj's a bit of me do you not like conor mcgregor well he's just a bit of a short king yeah no it is true would you date a guy shorter than you um well i'm five one yeah, that's true, actually. If they're shorter than you, they're, I would I don't date know what's a shorter on. guy, granted. Like, I do, like, come off across as, like, a bit, like, stuck up sometimes, but I do prefer my men to be a bit taller. Like, I like having a bit yeah. of reach. Room to climb. Yeah. yeah. I hear that. And normally I have a phobia that, like, short guys have tiny knobs. Oh, really? Is that a thing? I, I well, I, I think you, I've just got it in my head. Well, maybe they do. It's like muscly men always have the smallest dicks, whereas yeah. skinny men always have the biggest the dicks. Honkers. The honkers. Yeah. I have to agree. Physics. They never taught you this at school. They ne if I if they taught us this in our science lessons, I actually would have listened. <laughs> I'd have got an A star. Did you? No, but I oh. would have. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even pass, which is exactly not? no, I didn't. You got a master's. I know. And I got like three GCSEs. Oh, buddy, how? Yeah. How time changes. How time flies. We've got a lawyer and a master's girl here. <laughs> yeah, well, I failed that lawyer degree. <laughs> no one needs to know that. I'm just like pro and throw. <laughs> Why do I hear No, like, I need actually to tips throat? because I'm not good. Yeah. I can't be doing I this. I think it's I've like, tried the fun. The thumb. That doesn't do anything, apparently, when you hold that. I think it's actually A, genetics, and B, I've got no tonsils. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, what the fuck? You should have said it's that when like you first said. It's like a gaping said. hole. It's like a tunnel. <sighs> yeah, so there's no obstacles People are away. wanking to this podcast. Yeah, they probably know have it. got their, hand, their dick in their hands. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, guys. Yeah, rightly so. It's Hopefully fine. you still get monetized. <laughs> Are we going to get monetized for this? <laughs> Probably, Probably not. not. No, you know what? It gets like that. I'll let this one slide. Okay, well, that was beautiful. Yeah. To end this podcast, I always say, um, if you could give me any tip in about anything, yeah, give me a tip. Give you a tip in life? In life, in the bedroom, in anything. Sluzza, the TikTok Sluzza said that I should try sticking a finger up someone's ass. So that's what we're working with right really? now. Yeah. Depends if do it with they like so you, you know, they need to be into it first. That is what that she might said. be sexual yeah. assault. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're consensual around here. <laughs> consen at saving consensual. grace. Yeah. I've done that a couple of times. Consensually. I was I was like, <laughs> wait, what do you mean? I turned around. I was like, <laughs> No. Oh my god, a tip in life. Yeah, go on. Um, should I just be like try to be like really inspirational here? No, make it dirty. Make it dirty, a yeah, tip. Yeah, go on. Um, if you do a BJ, make it sloppy, otherwise it ain't right. Sloppy toppy. Yeah, it has to be sloppy where the point that if I sat up right now, it'd be a puddle. Okay, fine. Yeah. I'm gonna write that down. Yeah. Well, it's been beautiful having you on. Thank you. Thank you. For Good luck in your me. fight. Thank you. You're gonna be on the front seat. No, I'm actually expecting this now because I'm ready. To. I am there. Might wear me boxing gloves. I don't have boxing gloves. Um, I don't know why I said that. So yeah. you need like pink ones or something. Yeah, fuck Imagine going, whatever. that'd be so heavy. You'd be I'll done. have like the fucking alarms, don't worry. Nose. What's they called? Like the... The fingers. Yeah, that, that's no! it, yeah. Like butt limbs. Oh, <laughs> it's for girls. So I'm going to get some made. Like hand them out the door. Act like you're my fan. <laughs> yeah, like Even if you're not. Paying them off. You got this. You got yeah, this, she'll win. All Elbrook fans here. <laughs> we're like old men. Like, <laughs> yeah. So like, why am I here? Or they're all going to be 12. Do you know what? That's fine. We'll just pick them up off the street and just get them in. Your crowd's going to be huge and hers is going to be tiny. Oh, my man them. Of course. Thank you. But yeah, thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. And are we ready for this? I've got this in the bag. Yeah. If you're watching, make sure you give it a like and subscribe. Or if you're listening, make sure you give it a five-star review and a follow.